people smoking in public. Now, I think it's really bad because, I mean, not everybody can um, take the smoke, right? And they should ban them on the buses as well. You get, I mean, during COVID, the number of people I saw coughing and spitting in the streets. And I tried to say to some fella, you know, there's COVID going around in your spit. The amount of rubbish there is as well, I don't like that. Yeah, on the estate I live on, the edges of the, the road are absolutely full of rubbish. So, yeah. I've bred gun dogs in my younger days. As I said, I'm not politically correct. I hunt and I shoot. Now, I've always come to the conclusion, most of the time, there's no such thing as a bad dog, but a bad owner. It's the way you treat a dog, the way you look after a dog, the way you bring it on. Puppies are like children. You've got to play with them and you've got to train them. And we're going back to kids with mobile phones. Half the time, these children aren't trained. From XL bully dogs to some types of vape and even bagpipes at the upcoming Euros, it's certainly been a year for things being banned. In light of this, we've sent camera teams out across the country to find out what irritations the great British public would like to see banned. And here is a few more to add to the list. I'll tell you one thing I would ban, and, it, and if, as soon as you notice it, it's everywhere, and it's people just got regarding chewing gum everywhere. When you look on any street, there's little white marks and that's people spitting chewing gum out on the street. And it's disgusting and that's really bad. Just recently, there's been a lot of knife crime around Leeds and it depends on the area you're looking at. And the thing is, obviously, Idris Elba, just recently he was talking about tackling that knife crime. And this is the biggest issue because the thing is, people are getting killed every now and then and there's a surge in epidemic. And obviously, there should be a reason as to why you need the knife. For example, if you're working in a restaurant, for example, if you're using it at home. But the problem is, it's so easy for anyone to gain access to a knife where digs should be considered. Oh, uh, alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, excess amounts of alcohol. I don't know. It seems like uh, that is, a, is a quite a big problem with, uh, for public health, isn't it? You know, people, they get unwell when they drink more and, you know, long-term kind of conditions linked to alcohol. People make a nuisance of themselves in public houses. So is that people getting too rowdy, too drunk, too loud, too leery? Yes, yeah, yeah. Or different issues. You're not, you don't make a, a nuisance of yourself in public houses, do no, you? No, no, no. Very well behaved. <laughs> Banning things not, doesn't necessarily fix anything. It's all about making sure that we fund education services and mental health services properly.